Valda's journey is just horrible, Jide. You, you don't even want to understand. In fact, some hoodlums attacked me. If not for one guy who showed up. <sighs> My journey was terrible. Really, Jide? This again? Really? How in the world am I complaining? Tell me! You asked a simple question and I'm giving you a simple response. Now you're saying I'm complaining. Can I even talk to my boyfriend? Like I'm just trying to explain to my boyfriend what had happened to me, how horrible my day was, how everything is going wrong in my life right now, and you're there telling me that... It's late and I'm tired. Good night. Thank you, sir. You are the couple, right? I am, sir. Uh, <sighs> Do I look that old? Oh, no. <laughs> not, not exactly, sir. It's just that it's a formal setting. So... I understand what you're trying to say, but... Anyways. My name is Sophia Nekwe. <laughs> Sophia is a lovely name for beautiful ladies like yourself. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Don't add that at my name. My name is Oliver. So feel free to call me Oliver at any time. <laughs> okay, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, better. Uh, your class is said uh, SS3. Okay, sir. Oh, yes. I'll take you to principal's office. After that, I will take you to your class for proper introduction. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Oliver. Better. <laughs> yes. yes, Mr. Oliver. We all know that uh, we were promised a copper. A copper that would take us on English and literature. And she is the chosen one. Can somebody please clap for her? <laughs> so, okay. I will allow her to introduce herself. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Miss. My name is Sophia Anikwe. I'm from River State. And I'm here to teach you English and literature. I hope we have a fantastic time learning together. Yes, yes, Miss. Yes. 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 All right. Can somebody... And what were we supposed to say? Yes. Thank you. So I want you to all give her maximum attention and respect. Alright? Yes. Okay. And who is that fool that is strolling into this class? As if he is walking into his father's living room. Turn. Turn, let me see you, young man. So finally, you decided to resume class. And this day, you can go to your seat. Your man 
go to your seat. Um, uh, as This one to bother you. He is as good as God. I would like you to pay attention when you listen for him. In class, I will leave you to enjoy your literature. Eh? What did I say? Maximum respect and attention. Thank you. But not only you could kill me, yes. you could kill me now, now. No life, I can't breathe. But not only you could save me, so make it save me now. Sam, please, can I at least shave the tree? I'm not this is so scary. Drop that in here, you can see. I'm not to look. Don't be in the middle of the carry come before. Why are you not going to bring this kid today? You're not going to bring the kid to come. What do you want by your shop to bring this kid? What do you want by your shop to bring this kid? What do you carry come with them? I'm not sure. Huh? I'm big man, use this one. Need down there. I say need down here. Good job. No, no, say you go bring things. In the middle, not bring it. Every day, they bring it. I just stay there. My baptized church, no message. You should move your head. I just stay there. I'm very, very stupid. Why are you bringing them? Why are you bringing them? Tomorrow, no fighters are chicken. They hear me. I don't want that to be the problem. Tomorrow, no fighters are chicken. They hear me. Idiots. Yes, they bring this movie. We'll follow them. They bring this movie. Stop! Crazy model. Everybody just a little bit. Nobody won't go for With a polo student, it is not bad. You know, Bible said, Give us never lack. Because you have given, you will never lack. Say amen. Uh, yes. that, see what, but what? But what? Are, are you trying to tell me that all these things I'm saying does not make sense to you? Are you for real? Listen, I just told you that you 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 fulfill a version of the Bible and you're not happy. I was busy when you came to my office with this, 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 and I don't like it. I'm very busy. When such a thing come up again, you make sure you handle it yourself. Eh? It's not everything that comes up you run to, to Oliver. Oliver. Oliver doesn't pay attention to nonsense. This is biblical fulfillment. So rejoice. Alright? So just enjoy it. It's what and praise God that you have fulfilled. So you know. You have fulfilled a version of the Bible. No. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 to my office. Stop. Stop. In my office. Excuse me, Lucas. Well, um, uh, are you the same person from yesterday, Odogu? 
anyway, I truly want to thank you for walking me home safely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Is he disturbing you? Is he disturbing you already so that I will show him the stuff I am made of? No, 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 not at all. No, he's not. That boy is notorious, useless and shameless. His mates are all, are, are all done with their uh, university education. And yet he's still here, not even bothered. I don't blame him. I blame the school for accepting him into the school. It is you know money they wanted. And, and, and his father. Oh, poor man. I even heard that it is because of his father that he's still coming to school. Yet he doesn't want to improve. So shameless. It, it, it's okay, sir. I'll just get my bag and I'll, I'll be leaving. I want to go home. Thank you. I'm not on your own. I don't understand. What do you mean? I mean, you should join me so that I'll, I can pay for your way home. I'll, I'll take oh, you home. Oh, no, there will be no need for that. Thank you so much. It's fine. Thank you. Uh, but I insist. And I insist. I can go alone. Thank you. Calling to apologize or to claim rights, telling me you I misunderstood you. I am sorry. Just you know that I hate fighting with you, please. <sighs> it's okay. Okay, so how are you? I'm fine. I should really make our time and come and see you in that village. That would be nice. I love that. I will fix I will fix it somewhere in my plan. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting. Babe, listen, this is the way I'm reading, eh? You need to see the way the guy was... <laughs> Babe, can I call you back? I have an email I have to reply to right now, please. Okay, that's fine. Class, what is written on the board? Syntax. What? Syntax. Good. So who can tell me what syntax, the definition of syntax? Ah. Lucas, can you drop your feet on the floor? See, my teacher you be, nobody you get this school. My teacher you be, nobody you get this school. So, to your organ chair. This is a classroom. Drop your feet. Sit properly. So now you want to tell me I want to take seat now. 
as my mama. Now you want to tell me as I want to tell you. See, if you yarn about that, it's very good. Okay. Do as you wish. Tell me, what is syntax? See, wait. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are saying. I never said Cynthia. I said syntax. I don't send Cynthia, I don't send tags, I don't send all of them. What do they do? I don't know. Let me go to the school. Moving forward. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Evening. The word syntax it simply means the arrangement of words or things that creates well-formed sentence in a language. Clap for her. Clap properly for her. I hope you all heard what she said. Yes. Yes. Lucas, I need you to come to the office later. I will give you an assignment. Is that clear? So class, I need you all to study on syntax because I'll be asking you questions on it. Is that clear? Yes, yes. Come, why you answer that question? Real box, why you answer that question now? Come here. Come here. Come here. The assignment. I know Ronam. Why? I know Sabia. But that's exactly why it's called an assignment. Yes. You're supposed to give it to someone who knows about it, then the person helps you. As simple as that. Okay, ma. Lucas! I don't matter, I know well, but not only if it kill me, so make it kill me now, now. No life, I can't breathe. But not only if you save me, so make you save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly, you know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly, you know they bite. Hey. Babe, I'm sorry. Can I call you back in a few minutes time? Well, you actually said this the last time and you never called back. Africa, my Africa, 
Africa of proud warriors in ancestral Savannah. Africa of whom my grandmother sings on the banks of the distant river. <laughs> I think we should stop here for today. Thank you. <laughs> you can all go home and pray. <laughs> Can I have the assignment? I don't know. Why? Why didn't you do it? Nobody is here. You're trying to tell me no one knew the parts of speech? Mm. And I rather would invest me to say, if you won't give assignments, give everybody assignment. Run and general. Don't be only me there this school. I'll be this class. We get beef. I don't like as they behave. You can just leave everybody. Call me. They give me assignment one on one. What happened now? Give general. Don't give me one on one assignment. Yeah, you get problem. No, no, don't get it wrong. See, Lucas, you. You, you are a special student. I, I'm just, I'm just trying to help you. Before you help people, ask them whether they need help. May you not go to help who don't need help. No, this way you did in this school now. I don't go that from this school. See, see, teacher, I need help. Then you not go to help who don't need help. I don't send anybody. I don't even send myself. I don't even use Miro. I don't want to see how I do. So no one tell me say you won't help me. I don't need your help. Do it on your own. Make I do it on my own. Everybody go do it alright. I want for you. What I will get you. No help me. I've been here to pay my school fees. 
Look at what we are going to get together. Look at this. Did you just ask me how you take concern me? Me? Me that is your teacher? Be Oliver. You won't use me. Eh? What do you concern you now? I don't want you to follow go. If I do not kill you. Yeah. If, 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 I, if I reason you, you know what you want to do. Take this up now. Yeah? Come up to this. Go! Go and sit down. Zero zero one. Come on. Tete! Zero zero one. Go and sit down. I saw. Zero zero one. See. I may be sent. A.K.A. St. Lucas. Not that you speak with shy. Now, teacher, you be not be governor. Ordinary position where they give you, see, as you don't treat people. If you can't be governor, we'll see. To your work in a chair. To your work in a chair, no, I saw. Look at you are aware that you are just insulted. A noble teacher at this noble school. How can you do such a thing in my presence? Don't you know that is true? And I will not take it from you. Yes, but how did you? <laughs> this is a very small place. Almost everyone knows everyone. Right. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. Uh, okay, but. I don't quite know who... I am Amadi Ona. Father to Lucas. Oh! Nice to meet you, sir. 
So, what do you think about my son? Well, if you're talking about school, then I think I, I don't see him as someone who is quite interested in school, I'm sorry to say. You see, he has not always been like that. Since the death of his mother, it has really had a lot on him. I was about coming to the school to see you. Because uh, rumors have it, you are interested in him. Anyways, if there is anything in this world you can do to bring him back, I want you to consider this as a request coming from a helpless father. Please help me bring him back. Um, I'm truly sorry, sir. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do for him. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, I, I, I think it's his choice to make. Not mine and not yours either. I'm sorry. Some days ago, when I woke up in the night to ease myself, I saw him studying his book in the night. This hasn't happened for a very long time. And I can see it's because of your influence on him. So I'm appealing to you to help me try to bring him back. I don't want you to let him go. Not so soon. Wait. What did you see him studying? Parts of speech. Wow. It's okay. Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll see what I can do from this point. It's, it's fine, sir. It's okay. It's alright. Yes. Be a good girl. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Maybe more. It's okay, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Bye, sir. Whichever topic in English language you're having any problems, okay? So we can iron them out together. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Sophia. Good. And if any one of you fail to write out anything, I would assume you know everything and expect to answer my questions when I ask. Is that clear? Yes, Miss Sophia. Good. I... I mean... I'm just... I would expect everyone to turn in 
something. Uh, that will be all for now. Thank you. Jide, what's really going on? It's been two days and I've not heard from you. I know, I know, babes. I've just been so busy lately. So busy that you cannot even keep in touch? You eat three times daily. Don't you take your bath? I don't understand, Jide. What is happening? Is there someone else? Don't be ridiculous. You and I both know there's no one else. At this point, I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry, babe. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm just... Um, there's a lot going on at the company right now. I will get it over as soon as possible, okay? I promise. Alright. So, tell me, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just... There's a student I'm trying to, I'm trying to help. I just don't know what to do at this point. See, it's just service. You shouldn't kill yourself over those children. I will send some money. See, take yourself out. Though I'm not sure if they're a nice spot over there, but you would know since you wanted to be there anyway. Okay? I'm sure you figure something out, yeah? <laughs> okay. You're so beautiful. We'll be talking about closed poetry and open poetry. Now, in poetry, you can either do it as closed or open. What do I mean by closed or open? Now, closed poetry is a tiny kind of poetry, but when it comes to the open, it has to do with three verses. Look at Let me have it. Your assignment. Now. No. <sighs> See me outside. Now. I'll be right back, class. Don't go. 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 do how you take concern you now? No, how you take concern you? Why you buy the matter now? Like say you buy that like career for him. Did you just say it's none of my business? Before. See. Don't they stress me. Oh. They hear me so. Do like other teachers. Don't send me. Pretend I don't exist. Me say I don't see you normally. So last night, everybody could do all right. Then they put high for my life. Ah. I am not like other teachers. Trust me, you are never going to get me off your skin. Except you do my assignment, I am not going to allow you. 
as soon now. No, tell me that who you be waiting for the command here. My mama is waiting. Lucas, why are you here? Why the hell are you in this school if you're not ready to learn, Lucas? I can't play football. Lucas, you will not be able to get me off your skin. Except you sit up. Is that clear? Je, my mama, rest here now. See, what I tell you, as you see me so, I don't send anybody. I don't even send myself. I don't look, I see, I don't get me, I don't see me, I don't know what to see how I do. So no go here the phone with you, I don't know for my matter. Ah, I don't go do that assignment. If you think so, I don't do that assignment, eh? see, you waste your time. Don't be tell me what I will do. Really? Yes, sir. No, I don't think so, young man. You will do that assignment, except you want me to report you and your friends for what you did to me the other day. We don't do you anything, no. Me and my cartel, we don't do you and no go there. We don't do you anything. Says who? It's your word against mine. And I hear the punishment for rape in this village is life imprisonment. Would you really like to spend the rest of your life in that horrible place? Nobody will believe you. Nobody will believe you. So calm down. I hear the Igwe's um, cell is quite horrible. And you will not want you and your friends to rot there, would you? Lucas, don't forget, I'm a youth copper, and the government could get involved. Now, I want that assignment first thing tomorrow morning on my desk. I'll be waiting. I know where I look, but not only you could kill me, so make it kill me now, now. No life, oh, I can't breathe, oh, but not only you could save me, so make it save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly, oh, you know they bite like a sister fly, oh. look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly, oh. you know they bite like a sexy fly, oh. look what you've done to me, sexy teacher, tease me, tease me, hold oh, uh, on, you bring the best of me. This is uh, How was it? It was very well, thank you, Mr. Oliver. Um, I saw you earlier with Lucas. Did he do anything so that I can turn him immediately? Oh, not at all. Everything is fine. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I want to go home now. I change. I want to go to Chon Chon Bobby Joint. And I know you will like it. I just needed to tell you welcome to my, to my village, to our school. I don't know if you appreciate it. Come with me. Mr. Oliver. Yes, my dear. Uh, thanks for now, but I'll pass. Fine. Thank you. Sorry? I, I, I didn't get it. Mr. Oliver, I said no for now. Okay? Uh, uh, my lady, please say uh, you no. Know, behind every no, there is yes. I would prefer if you will bring yes forward and allow no to be behind. Yeah? Have a nice day, Mr. Oliver. Hey! 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 I don't mind, I know where I look, but not only you could kill me, so make it kill me now, now. No life, I can't breathe, but not only you could save me. Is that all you Yes. There you are. 
Well, I was wondering where I can get this call sheet. I need to see Lucas's results. I mean, from the time he came into this school. Oh, oh Lucas. Uh, that guy, that Lucas, a student, is a donor. You don't need to see his result. Otherwise, it will mess your day up. Mr. Oliver, I just need to check something. Uh, uh, that's the problem there. Um, it is. Hey! Come back here. Come back here, my friend. Don't you have respect? Stuck in very well. Stuck in properly as a student. And also work like a student. What happened to your respect? Button up. Better. Take this one. Work like a student. Um, if you insist, come with me. Can I join you? Listen, I wasn't so bright when I was in school. I didn't understand what anyone was saying, let alone what the teacher taught. Everyone ruled me out. Nobody cared. Then, Mrs. Ozoemena was transferred to our school. I, I don't know why she picked an interest in me, but she did. Then, she started teaching me during our break time, after classes. And before long, I could understand everything. Before long, I was better than most of my peers. And that's because someone took a step further with me. So you believe say if you come here, I earn all this up at a finish now. Out of pity, I believe say we get similar story. My account may be able to come on. I cheat to all the We know they are like we are two different people now. What do they talk? Wow, I see that now. We are nothing alike. I actually thought we were, and that's the reason why I am trying to help. Someone did something memorable for me. And I'm paying it forward by returning that favor to you. I'm extending it to you. Listen, Lucas. I'm not giving up on you. I'll do my best to help you. And I'm here whenever you want to talk. Wait. Sit. On a normal level like this, I day. I've been going to present our school internationally for one competition. I win. Fall back. But before I fall back, something happened. I don't meet my mama. My mom she died. Oh my god. And now she carried me go drop for park before I go that journey. As I fall back, I hear say as she dropped me the go back, she get accident. So sorry. I want you to go talk now since that time, eh? 
body they pepper me. Body they pepper me because I refuse to make kill my mama. I mean, kill her now because if you say I don't go to that competition, she followed no, that. No, no, you did not kill her. I don't think you go talk now. Since that time, me and my posse, we say no, we come villa. We come villa still, everywhere no good. If I don't read and I remember my mama, if I don't do anything and I remember my mama, anything I want to do, since my mama died, eh, I have no say life, no balance. So, no, be said that's why they behave normally. Now, that my mom is dead, eh, we turn everything upside down. Till now, I never get myself. My mom's in my backbone now, woman of wisdom, very prayerful. She supports me. She they follow me up. She they package me. Since when she go down, me I miss direction. I don't like give you. So I want to stop with that. Lucas, it's not your fault. Your mother died. Not my fault. If you say she don't drop me, she don't get us dead. Let me kill her now. Lucas, your mother is dead, and there is nothing you can do about it. But there is someone who is alive, who is betting on you, who is hoping and praying for you on a day-to-day -day basis. Besides, he is not getting any younger. Listen to me carefully. If anything happens to your father because he is worried and scared for you, then that is the person you have killed. I learned you, you came back to school because of him. Why not do it properly? Why not just change totally because of him? Or you think your, your mother, if she were to be alive, would, would be happy seeing this version of you? Tell me. This is not the version you want your mother to know. And trust me, she's looking at you from up above. Lucas, remember, your mother died, but she hasn't left you. She is still watching over you. And your father is hoping on you. Have that at the back of your mind. Try to change properly. And I'm here to support you whenever you want. Okay? I know where I look, but not only you can kill me. So make it kill me now, now. No life, I can't breathe, but not only you can save me. So make it save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly, you know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've who? done to me. Who? Who is there? Tease me, tease me. Hello. AKA Saint Lucas. You who? Saint Lucas. Lucas, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Everywhere good, calm down. See, now there's on that table where you play me. A bum reasoning. You don't understand? You talk well. Mm, you talk well. I'm, I'm glad. But, but in as well. No! So, yeah. In as much as I would like this conversation to go on, I think it's quite late and it's not entirely proper for you to be here. So please just go. I'll talk to you tomorrow in school. Your room, Chuk. Yes, simple. Just be simple. See, you have been shit, man. Very good. Bye, I want tomorrow. All right. Goodbye, Lucas. Lucas! Look! Uh, Miss Oliver. Hmm? I saw Lucas on my way in. 
Uh, yes. Um, he actually came to turn in an assignment. This late? Mr. Oliver, what are you doing here? Uh, I made a matter. And I thought that giving you part of it we will go where. Uh, Thanks for the thought, but I don't want it. Eh? I don't want it. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, are you trying to tell me that you will reject this after all the stress? <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Oliver. Uh, Thank you, Pat. I said, good night. Good night, Mr. Oliver. <laughs> Please, finish it. Good night, Mr. Oliver. Good night. Look what you've done to me. Bread it to each other. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me. Sex to teach Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. Relative clause now. Let's try that in English, please. Relative clause, which is also known as adjectival clauses, gives us additional information on the subject of independent clauses that they are related to. Example, who, whom, which, that. Clap for him. Lucas! 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 You keep shut. Can you define semantics? Never mind. Evelyn? Yes, ma'am. Tell us, what is semantics? Ma, it's not in our scheme of work. I think you're wrong, ma'am. Semantics can be defined as the Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sister fly. Look what you've done to me, sex a teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was so impressed with you today. <laughs> Anyways, I see you always seated here alone. Isn't it boring? No more than my day. Can we try communicating in English? What were you trying to say? Okay. It is. Just that it's better than staying in the midst of children. This place is cool though. I think I should read something. What book is that? It's a novel, Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. You haven't read it? Mm, I think the proper word should be reread because I've read this novel over a million times. You won't even believe it. <sighs> Have you read it? Of course, I read it when I was in Genesis too. Yes, it's an interesting one. And my favorite character was Piggy. <laughs> Piggy is everyone's favorite character. Show me a person who has read this book and doesn't root for Piggy. Let's leave that. What's your favorite theme? The inherent 
evil in men. According to the book, men are wicked in nature. They can only be controlled by rules and regulations. So when there is law and people are abiding by it, there will be less crime. But in a situation whereby there is law and no one cares about it, definitely there will be a high rate of crime. So in a nutshell, when people obey the rules and regulations, you will help keep them in check. <laughs> or better say, it will help keep them in check. What's yours? <laughs> The loss of innocence. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you know, when the kids first got to the island, they were so innocent. They couldn't even kill a pig. They... <sighs> but, reading further, these kids became murderers, <laughs> savages. And towards the end of the novel, they had committed murder twice, headed towards the third. Oh, that's the break. <laughs> I enjoyed this. Then we should do this some more. Okay, okay I know what to do here. Yeah. Um, yeah. You read of me? Yes. Read it, and when you're done, we'll talk about it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming. Women of Owo. Women of Owo. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they buy like a supply. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. Oh, you are aware that the continuous assessment for this term will be commencing next week. That's correct, ma. Okay. I would want you to bring your questions to my office tomorrow. Okay, ma'am, I'll do, I'll do just that. And one more thing. My daughter said something about you teaching something that's outside the scheme of work. Yes, that's true. It's just that I, I thought I should, you know, give them a vast knowledge on other things instead of restricting them to the scheme of work. Are you aware? that the body that formulated this scheme of work knew what topics to take in and they want to exclude. What I'm trying to say is this. Stick to the scheme of work. Are we on the same page now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. All right. Sit like a sugar cane, fly like a butterfly. You're so beautiful, sexy teacher. You bring the best of me. Oh, oh, oh. pretty teacher, pretty teacher. You're so beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. you are the best of me. Hmm. This girl is really smart. Wow.
Mr. Oliver. Uh, how are you? Can you take a look at this? Uh, this is uh, Evelyn's script. Yes. What? This is weird. She has never felt a question since I started working in this school as a teacher. As you can see, she failed number five. The same question I just said in class. <sighs> so, the principal asked me to submit the questions after setting them. Yes, that is the status quo. I did submit four questions. But as the test was going on, I decided to add a random question, which is number five. As you can see, she failed it. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Mr. Oliver, I've noticed that every time I ask them questions that is in their scheme of work, she seems to get it, you know, with ease. But when I ask them something that is not in their scheme of work, and it's something that is supposed to be easy considering how smart she is she doesn't get it and even the questions she got this week when i come back next week of course i'm supposed to ask them or teach them on a new topic but when i decide to just ask her questions randomly from what was taught previously the other week she seems not to have any idea of what I'm saying? Hey, Sophia, with all this your explanation, I still cannot lay hold on anything. I don't understand anything from it. Simply put, Mr. Oliver, I think the principal shows her the scheme of work beforehand, and she cramps every single topic. It's not a bad idea. It's not bad, but <sighs> Mr. Oliver, I think the principal shows her the tests and the exam questions also. I have no idea about that. That is why I'm telling you. Um, Sophia, that is a grave accusation. And I will appreciate it. We appreciate it if you don't allow any ear to hear about it. And as for me, I will pretend that this conversation never happened. So please, sip your mouth. Thank you so much. I am not impressed. Only one person got all the answers. Anyway.
can see, it's really, really not impressive. I'm deeply sad over this outcome. I think I'll just have to do something fast about this. This is not impressive at all. <laughs> uh, it's not a flea, no. <laughs> what? So how is work going? Work is going fine. How is that village? What's the name again? I'm sure I've told you the name a million times, yet you keep forgetting. I'm sorry. It's just that I've had a lot to think about other than that your village. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think so. I think it is. I don't know. Who could be knocking at your door by this time of the night? You know what? Let me just call you back, okay? Give me a minute. I'll call you back. <laughs> Who is it? Lucas. Lucas. Good evening. Hey, what are you doing here at this time of the night? I came to return this. Oh. I wanted to give you a school, but you left it. Yes, thank you too. Yeah, I forgot to tell you in school. Congratulations. Thanks. I was wondering if there is another novel. Definitely. You know what? I'll look for it and get across to you tomorrow in school. Okay? Good night. Good night, Lucas. So make it kill me now, now. No love, I can't breathe. But I only you can save me. So make you save me now. Hello. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they bite like a sense of fly. Look what you've done to me. Pretty sweet. Guess what I have for you today? We have over 80 billion books in the world. So how am I supposed to guess from that? You're right. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. Hmm. The gods are not to blame. Correct again. I've heard so much about this book. And now you have an opportunity to read it. Thanks to someone amazing. <laughs> You are truly amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'll, I'll just get back in. All right. Thank you. Huh? Sure. Bye. Miss Sophie. <laughs> Everywhere choke. Look what you've done to me, sex a teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh. 
You bring the best of me. That's never. I was wondering when you will give these children their English scripts. English scripts? Yes. Well, I did that yesterday. Oh, maybe my daughter forgot to mention it to me. <laughs> I guess so too. Yes. All right, you go ahead, okay? It's okay, mom. No like sugar cake, life is beautiful, pretty teacher, sweet like a sugar cake, fly like a butterfly, it's a beautiful... Mom, you sent for me. Yes. Where is your English script? It's in my bag. Your bag? Why didn't you show it to me? I failed to move. You did what? Why? She changed the question. She, she added another question to it. And I did not read that one. That woman, she added another question. And she, she, that auntie, I don't know. She, she's very wicked. Why would she add another question? I, I didn't read that one. That's why I failed the one. She did? So, I've thought on what to do and I'll be giving you students a makeup test. My makeup test? We don't need it. <laughs> Evelyn. Who are you to tell me what I can or cannot do. Yes, answer her. I'm just saying. Evening. Evening. Prepare for your makeup test. We'll be having it tomorrow. Thank you. 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 We need it, we need it to go see fit. Now, hey, you wrote it. Face your front. Hey, face your front. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you for walking me home. The pleasure is mine. My bag. Yes, uh, you guys. For the test tomorrow. I hope you do better and get a higher score, okay? I will try. No, you will do your best. But by your subject now, we did like I fail by your subject. Lucas. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your subject. You won't fold your hands on what you feel on the subject. Better. Would you like anything? Water, perhaps? Of course, I want water, but don't. So that I'll have reason to come back. <laughs> I'll come back for my water when I want. And this? I'm a logo now. Don't worry, I'll give some water. Lucas. Bye, Sophie. Bye, Lucas. I can't wait But not only you can save me. So make you save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they buy it like a supply. Hey, Look what oh. you've done to oh. me. Pretty teacher. I have no plan on giving a makeup test to my sister. Yes, ma. I'm actually headed there right now. But you didn't think to run it by me before then? Ma? Yes. Don't you know that whatever you want to do in the school, you have to tell me first. But. Ma, the students failed the, the, the previous one. I just thought it was necessary to give... What you think is unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. 
I should be in the know of everything you want to do in this school because you don't have such rights to do anything you want to do. But, Ma, yes. you, you, you don't expect me to use a, a test where only two students scored above average. And whose fault is that? Who set the questions? I did, Ma. But I also ran it by you. And you endorsed it. Ma, please. I'm going to the class right now to give them their makeup test. Thank you. Excuse me, Ma. Are you okay? Hello? Hello, guys. I'm fine. How was the test? Fine. What's bothering you? Nothing, I'm fine. Is it the principal? Because I saw both of you. Oh, that. That. That was nothing, like. Everything is fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. Listen, if the principal is stressing you, just tell me. I swear I will deal with her. Lucas, are you serious or joking? I'm joking and I'm serious at the same time. If the principal stress you or lie, she will collect. Anybody that stresses you, woto woto. You see this school, Hazuzo, if they stress you, I will shut it down, I swear. I uh know. -huh, Look, there's no one is stressing, okay? Everything is fine. That's mine now. Uh -huh. Everything is fine. Life is beautiful. like a sugar cane. Fly like a butterfly. You're so beautiful. Sexy teacher, you bring the best of me. Oh, pretty teacher, pretty teacher. Hey, babe. Hey, how are you? I'm not fine. What's the problem? Are you okay? It has something to do with school. I think my principal has been showing the test and exam questions to her daughter. Well, she's just been a mother, babe. What are you saying? What about the other students who actually read for these exams? You don't even understand what I, what I mean. This girl has always gotten perfect scores. And looking at her script right now, she's not even, she's not getting average. Calm down, our babe, calm down. Look, this is government work. Not your father's work, you should know. What are you even saying, Jide? 
Why do you always respond this way? What else am I supposed to say? Tell me. The same the way you're saying it. Well, I don't know what you want me to say. Anything else apart from what you just said? You know what, Jide? I'm sleepy. I, I'll talk to you some other time. Yes? Please come in. Good morning, ma. Good morning. How may I help you? I brought in the script from the test. Okay. As you can see, their performance is better than the previous one. Except that some people are at a disadvantage. Evelyn scored 16 in the previous test. Here she got a 5. Only God knows how many other students that have the same issue. Ma, Evelyn is the only one who has a decline in her performance. Every other student did better than the previous one, except for Lucas, who maintained the highest. Lucas? Same Lucas? Yes, ma. He got the highest score. Fat dons? Ma. Lucas has been fooling every one of us. He is not as dull as you think. In fact, he isn't even dull at all. You, you, can, you, you can see that from his script. It's right there. Exactly. On the other hand, Evelyn is the one fooling us. And with all due respect, should I say you both? Shut up. Ma. I know you've been showing Evelyn the test and exam questions beforehand. How dare you? How dare you make such accusations about me? Do you have any proof? Do you have any proof to your claim, do you? By the time they are done with their exams, I will have enough proof to back up all my claims. Get out! Get out! Take all this. Get out of this place. Excuse me. Can you imagine that? Evelyn. You scored 5 over 20. 5! What is it? Mom, well, I tried to read. But there were so many things to read at the time. And at the end, I couldn't cover up where, where she reset the questions from. Let's hope your father doesn't say this. You know how he is. Mom, well, please, can you get her not to use this? I don't think so. That girl is stubborn. Even Lucas scored more than you did. About that, Mom. Lucas has been doing well in classes now. He has been answering questions correctly now at this. I'm surprised. That's what she told me. But, Mom, don't you think he's suspicious? Hmm. Lucas, far better than Lucas. I'm I don't know. It's suspicious. 
What are you thinking? Mom, Miss Sophia shows up and Lucas started doing well in her subjects. And even more, I always see them together. I think there is something going on between them. I should always give him questions before an exam. You see them together? A whole lot, Mom. They even have a special place in this school. I always see them doing break time. If you want, I'll go and show you doing break time. I'll go and show you where they always be. Oh. Come in. Who live her? What is this rumor I hear about a student and a copper? Rumor and student. I have no idea, man. Notice that I am so much into you. And uh, I want us to go to the next step. More than just being colleagues. I want us to do something serious. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Oliver, I, 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 I'm in a relationship. I have a boyfriend. You do? Of course. It, and it's a very serious one. It's alright. If that will be all, I'd love to go back to class. Hmm? You bring the best of me. Hello. Someone finally decided to pick. What's really the problem? You know, I don't know what exactly to do. That I've not done for you, Sophia. I do every single thing a lover is supposed to do. What else would you have me do? Do you know all I do for you? Even those who have no idea of. I even spent thousands of money to make sure you're posted to the, to the east. Yeah, not. Sent to the north as... What did you just say? I don't like the way you make big deal about everything I, I, I do. 
I'm trying to let... Jide, that's not what I just said. I'm asking you what you just said. Well, I... I... Did you influence my posting, Jide? I had to. Or you would have sent... You would have sent you to the north with this insecurity. I couldn't. Wow. Just wow, Jide. Sophia. Sophia. We don't know. What of the one who will take the test? You don't ask to take the confirm, they enter one. And they later come, they come and say to the Hey, sexy teacher. Lucas. Sexy teacher, what are you doing here all by yourself? I should be asking you that. What are you doing here? I came to chill with my friends. Look at them. Hi. Okay. So you normally come here? No, I basically just discovered this place tonight. And I wanted to just cool off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you're fine? Are you with someone? I'm fine, Lucas. And I'm not with anyone. Would you like anything? No, I'm fine. I don't do alcohol. You're mm. saying you're fine, but you're not lively. I need to see those smiles, man. Because I'm fine. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Look at your beautiful teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. But come on, it's late. You shouldn't be outside at this time. I came to chill the first time. Oh, I see. I hope you're still reading though. Pretty teacher, you're so beautiful. Pretty teacher, you're so beautiful. I need you to do something for me. What? I want you to promise me that you start dressing properly to school from now on. I promise to change <laughs> henceforth. Let me trust you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, why did you agree to serve here? Um, uh, fate. Yes, uh, I'm a believer in faith. <laughs> I just think when some things are destined to happen, you know, they just happen. I just go with the flow. That's it. I like the way you think. <laughs> now, let me tell you, mm. you are serving here because of me. Yes, faith brought you here and all thanks to faith. Lucas. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, Mr. Oliver, hmm? it's like I interrupted something. <laughs> Mr. Oliver, yeah. not at all. Um, Lucas, you can go home. I will take it off from here. Uh, Mr. Oliver, I I was just going home. I can go myself. And I want to escort you home. No, it's fine. I can go myself. I insist that I will escort you Mr. home. Mr. Oliver, I'm a grown-up. I can go home. I insist. Mr. Oliver, Mr. Oliver, you heard her loud and clear. She wants to go home by herself. 
Are you forcing her? Um, <laughs> Lucas, just, it's okay. Go home. Okay? I'm fine. You should. Yes, I'm fine. Uh, Mr. Oliver, hmm? good night. Hey, 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 hey. See, I was the one who made the offer first. You turn it down and that boy that boy made an offer and you accepted it. Why? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Oliver. I am ridiculous. Hmm? I would not be ridiculous. Mr. Oliver, good night. Hey, hey. if you move, if you move. I insist that I'll be the one to walk you home. Hey! 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 I think we should report him to the U.S. No, no, there's no need for that. I mean, you've given him enough beating. That's fine. And how are we sure he won't come up for you? He won't. He won't. That idiot needs to be punished properly. You have punished him enough. Did you see the, did you see the beatings? That's enough for anyone. Trust me, he's not gonna. It's not ever going to bother me again. He might be up to something. Maybe revenge. You never can tell. Yes. He won't. It's fine. Anyways, even if he does, he will have me to contend with. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, you're welcome, okay? Sure, thanks. I know where But not only you could kill me. Good night. Good night. So you me. Thank you. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Thank God for the butterfly. You know they find it like a sensor fly. What happened to your face? <clears throat> I fell down, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. That must be a hard fall. It was, man. Sorry about that, but. Is there any problem? Uh, no, there's no problem. Apart from uh, your suspicions. You know, you were suspecting that the uh, uh, copper was having, having an affair with the student, Lucas and the copper. I have confirmed it to the truth. Uh, how sure are you? I am very sure, man. In fact, I saw them with my eyes kissing and romancing each other. Do you have an evidence of this? Uh, no. Okay. Um, don't mention this to anyone. Okay? Don't let her know. Don't let anybody know about it. Don't let her know. Don't let anybody know about it. We will deal with her when the time comes, okay? But gather more evidence for me. Yes, All right? Yes, Keep it up, okay? Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> This can't be. <laughs> doing here? School dismissed over an hour ago. I have been waiting for you. I want to walk you home. That's not necessary. I can go home myself. No. No one knows what that madman is up to. Lucas, he isn't up to anything. Trust me, that punch you gave him is enough. Besides, he's seen me over a billion times today. He didn't even talk to me. Neither did he even look my way. 
To me, you walking home alone is a big risk. So please, let me walk you home. Lucas. I insist. I know well, but not only you can kill me, so make it kill me now, now. No, no, let's go. I can't breathe, but not only you can save me, so make it save me now, now. Thank God for the butterfly, you know they bite like a sense of fly. Look what you've done to me, pretty teacher. Lucas. Good evening. Good evening. Can I come? Please. Come in. Thank you. You're welcome. I bought you food. How could you even afford this? I have a side hustle. Which is? I'm robbery. What? Lucas? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Remember I told you I won a competition? So? I had 10 million in my bank account. I just decided to start spending it since I met you. No, my father kept it for me all this time. Since I met you, I decided to collect my money and start spending it. <sighs> oh, okay. Thank you. Now that you know the money I used to buy this one is not stolen. Thank you. Did I help you? Thank you. Okay, as you wish. Thank you. Ask the husband. husband. Yes, Lucas. Lucas. Who said that? The report. Somebody could come here in the mud. Oh, yeah. Move.
I'm not sure. You think so I send your mama? Divide yourself. See you. I'm not send anybody. I don't even send myself. I know they use me. If I finish dealing with you, go call your mama and say that she's the principal. Mama, I just still do with her. You have my marriage. How can I go stand there the end of the water with my name? From today, I hereby ban you from talking anytime I'm around. Once I'm around, we don't talk. You hear me so? Did you hear me? Come here, see if I, if I stand up. Come on, come on. Come on, boy, yeah. Come on, boy. Okay, one message, jump on. <laughs> and what is going on here? And you, where is it from? Why are you crying? Miss Lucas. Lucas? Hey, Lucas. Afternoon. You were not in school today. No, I wasn't. Uh, I had so much to do today. Okay. I said let me come and check on you and make sure you're fine. Lucas. Sexy teacher. I think you should stop coming here. What? Uh, yes. Um, Except, of course, it's an emergency. Other than that, we should both meet in school, okay? Is that what you want? Of course. I will respect that. <clears throat> so be it. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. Oh, uh, teach me, teach me. Oh, uh, you are the best of me. Bring the teacher. Bright like a sun ray. Sugar cane, life is beautiful. Pretty teacher, sit like a sugar cane, fly like a butterfly. You're so beautiful, sexy teacher. You bring the best of me. Oh, oh, oh. pretty teacher, pretty teacher. Oh, yeah. 
Excuse me. Can we talk? That won't be necessary. I can walk home myself. Thank you. At least hear me out. Obvious we're not working out, Jide. We want different things. Besides, we're not even alike one bit. But that toast, though. We've never been alike. We've, not, we've, we've always loved each other. Our differences have never been a problem. Now I know better. It's 9 p.m., Sophie, for crying out loud. Who is that? 
It's none of your business. Not anymore, at least. Sophie! Sophie! Who is it? What do you want? Azeneca, sorry, I said let me talk. Thank you, you could have waited till tomorrow to do that. Sorry about that. Forgive me, just I wanted to see you talk to you. Thank you, good luck to us.
Okay. I went by your house and your father told me you were here at the bar and that it's your favorite spot. Yes, it is. It's been a week, Lucas, and you've not been in school. I had to do something to get your attention. Now you have my attention. What do you want to talk about? I love you. Yes. I love you and I mean every one of you. Stop. I can't get my mind off you. Stop. Stop, please. I have never felt like this for anyone. Lucas, can you stop? I love you, Miss Sophie. I'm not having this conversation with you right now. If you don't feel the same way, you can say it and trust me, I won't, I won't bother you again. Lucas, can you snap out of it? I'm not having this conversation with you. I don't know what you're I think I should just leave. Alright. Let me escort you. It's fine, I can go myself. Oh, come on, come on. As much as you told me that it's not a problem, okay? Well, you came out because of me. Just as you and a total stranger trying to make sure you get him safe. Let's go this way. And trust me, we'll never have this conversation with you. What 
Obele, what happened? They call and say, Papa, no way. Settle in, settle in. You, collect the assignment and bring it to the office. Lucas, what is it? My father is dead. Killed him. No. No, no. Don't don't say that. You didn't. Listen, that night I, I found you at the bar. He told me how proud he was of you. He was truly proud to be your father. You didn't kill him. I'm sure if it was within his power, he wouldn't leave you this early. It's okay, you don't have to cry. It's okay. It's okay. You've been acting up? This thing? He? Please don't bring him into this. He has nothing to do with it. Wow! So I spent those long, hectic hours trying to surprise you. Unfortunately, I was the one that got to be surprised. Don't be ridiculous. It's just two hours away from the city. Besides, who asked you to surprise me? If you had done this some months back, then it would have mattered. But right now, no. Oh my God. Sophia. I think you understand what you're doing. I think you understand what you're doing. Have a good day. I'm sorry. No, no. Uh, it's, it's nothing to do with you. You don't have to be sorry. The, the truth... Listen, I've been fighting this a while now. Perhaps it's not right, but... Lucas, I love you. I'm in love with you. Pretty teacher, 
Thank God for the butterfly, yeah. You know they bite like a sister fly, yeah. Look what you've done to me, sexy teacher. Lucas! Tease me, tease me. Oh, uh, you bring the best of me. You are aware that examination is fast approaching. So I would want you to turn in your exam papers. I would want you to turn in your exam questions for endorsement. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll have to turn down that offer. It wasn't an offer. It is an order. I'm afraid I can't submit my questions to you and risk you showing it to Evelyn. Please, just allow me some time, at least after this exam, to see if you also have the perfect score as she usually does. If she does that, then that's fine. I'm ready to face any query or disciplinary measures you would like to take against me. But if she doesn't, then yourself and Evelyn will have to apologize to the entire school and that will be the proof you always wanted. How dare you? Who do you think you are? Some saint? You sit here and you judge me when you do what? Oh sure I know. I'm aware of what is going on between you and a student in this school. Can you deny that? Can you? Look at this. You will have to explain this to the king and local government inspector. And my dear, what do you think will happen by the time it gets out? I hope you know what you're doing. Do you? Get out of my office. Get out! I want those questions by next week. Else, get out. Get out! Oliver. Why well, I overheard you to talking? Is this why you made me go through the stress of getting an evidence? So as to make her submit the questions of the exam to your daughter. I'll be a fool if that's the only reason. I will show the picture to the king the local government inspector. This will serve as a warning to anyone in this school or wherever who is trying to go against me. Okay? But you don't worry. I'll deal with her when the time comes. You may go.
Are you okay? No. What's going on? So I think I actually wanted to make a change here. What happened? It's the principal. She's been showing the test and exam questions to her daughter evening. That's why she's always come first. I wanted to withhold my, my questions and not submit it this time. So I, I can compare her previous performances to this time around. But I can't do that anymore. Why? Because they, they have a picture of both of us where we were kissing. Listen, they can't use that against you, okay? I was the one who kissed you. It's all my fault. Stop. No, I will go and tell them, listen, it's not your fault. I forced you into it. No, just stop, Lucas. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll just give her the question papers. That way there will be peace. Let's get it over and done with. Listen, I know our principal too well. She has a dubious character. Even if you give her those quotes, she will definitely use those pictures against you. It's all my fault. Stop saying that. It's not your fault. I'm the teacher here. It's not your fault. It's all my fault. I know what I'm saying. <sighs> it's not your fault. You know what? I will drop out of school. What? Yes. You will do no such thing. Then what? You made the right decision. I I know that even after I've given you this, you are still going to show the picture to the king and our local government inspector. But please, Ma, I want to beg you. Just leave Lucas out of all of this. You know, he's only beginning to indicate any interest in learning. Keep his identity hidden, Ma. Please, I'm begging. Let me bear all the punishment. Whatever you want to do, do it to me. Just leave him out of it, please. Do you know you're smart? Yes. You're smart. And that's what has landed you into this mess you are in. 20 years. For 20 years, I have been in this school and I did this as exactly the way I wanted to. Parents who wanted their children to pass exams came to me for negotiations. Of course. And they paid the exact amount I asked them to. So when my daughter was admitted into this school, I did the same for her. I mean, which parents wouldn't do that. Especially when you are at the helm of the affairs. You have the power to do so, so why wouldn't I? But Ma, I, I truly don't mean to disrespect you. You, you don't help me now at all. Shut up. I'm not done yet. 
for 20 years I did this in the school. Nobody found out. No teacher suspected. And you, little girl, just few months that you came into this. Can you think you can humiliate me? But that was never my intention. Shut up! Quiet. I'm still talking. <laughs> By the time I'm done with you, you will ever regret coming into this school and coming into this village. You want to humiliate me? You want to spoil all that I have done for 20 years? You think you can do that? I will so deal with you. You want to spoil things for me? Please watch. I, I was about coming to your palace tomorrow. Oh, please sit down. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Your Highness, I, there's only a few coming here. I was even planning to come and see you in the palace tomorrow. Well, I decided to come uh, uninvited. Um, she must be Sophie. Yes. And uh, to what do I owe this visit? I came because of Lucas. He came to the palace yesterday and um, made a report. But I didn't believe him. I hung out there for quite some time now and I heard everything. How could you, Mrs. Annie? Oh. Well, Your Majesty. Did Lucas tell you his unwholesome affair with the copper? Did he tell you that? He's a man. He's a student. He's 26. I got married at the age of 25. I was a king at the age of 28. He's a man. Well, he's a student. Mrs. Annie. I will forgive the fact that you are trying to drift from the subject matter, but it's fine. We will get back to that in a jiffy. Did I hear you say he's having a wholesome relationship with a girl? He's a man. Like I said, Lucas is old enough to make decisions for himself. Well, um, I'm not trying to support what Lucas and Sophia did because he's against uh, moral conduct. Sophia is a teacher. Lucas a student. That's the only level I am faulting them. But then again, this is a matter of the heart. We are helpless in the face of these things. And I'm a man of love. But I am not faulting them even more. Like I said, Lucas is not a child. Yeah, he even confided in me that he has been the one making advances to the cop. Oh, like he, 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 he can say anything. I mean, no, the kind of person he is. This life is very simple. We are the ones making life very difficult and even more difficult than it's supposed to be. Right? Well, uh, this is my verdict. I have told Lucas not to step his foot into this school until he's seen a way. At least um, it will show to others that um, we do not tolerate uh, such kind of relationship between um, a teacher and a student. Yes, that's 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 kind of you. I mean, that's nice of you, sir. Sophia, Your Majesty. Henceforth, you are going to teach sex education in four schools in one month. Um, Your Majesty, thank you so very much uh, uh, for your verdict, <laughs> Mrs. Annie. 
I think it is high time you step down for someone else to try. I will write to the board and um, you will be transferred to another school where you will function in the capacity of uh, a classroom teacher. This is my verdict. And I expect that this matter die here in the room. Yeah. 